And now let's head down to the coin toss. It is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. UCLA lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 28-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Second and three. Ball on the 35. A little counter, but he goes nowhere. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stops before he even gets going. strike to the back no good that'll make it fourth down and they're gonna have to punt yeah they just couldn't connect on a pass there that was a very good stand by this defense Phillips back to return it looking for the corner tackle made the 37 yard line UCLA's offense a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively but when you've got a wide receiver like this it really helps the coach but it does and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do they're trying to find matchups and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of they're going to spread you out try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup and if you spend too much time with this one player they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it it's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Here we go, here we go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. just smash mouth helmet to chin football by the defensive line there they dominated the point of attack it's second and 13 all on the 49 got a man he can't complete the play Right, he should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Runs it left for a decent game. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. From the 45-yard line, first down. Up the middle for a nice game. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want nothing. They don't want none of this. Look 
Jones for his tight end over the middle. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. taken down for a loss and that run got stuck yeah you're right the defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there man left, man left. from the 36 yard line it's second down tackled for a loss this is the eighth play of this drive He's at the 30, caught, open field. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. Throw, and he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Five-yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10 play, 56 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Throws in a hurry. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First and 10, ball on their own 45. Five-yard line. Roger, Roger. Thirty was the mic. We go, we go. They'll get him for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback.
So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Jones will be the return man. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Iowa is up a score. to 21. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Hawkeyes with a touchdown lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Throws complete. Big loss. Taylor is waiting for the snap. Gets to about the 44-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. As a man, he'll lose big yards. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 48-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 37. They come out on an empty backfield. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Get it to the 18. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He passes it. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Picked off. Huge play for the defense. Oh. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Iowa is up by a touchdown. And he is drilled at the 24. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 24-yard line, second down. around the 20-yard line. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on a carry. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. UCLA's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around. And you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to give your team a chance to win in the second half. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 33. From the 33-yard line, Roger, first down. 31's the mic. You can hold this. And two, X7. He scrambled. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. Inside the 10, and that sets them up for the first and goal. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 12-yard line, it's third down. Black ball. Throws it in a hurry. Brown picks him up about three yards with a catch. up and it is good and you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding them their field goal right there UCLA is ready to kick it away excellent kick he's to the 20 
He's taken down at the 27. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. The Bruins wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. Got his receiver. Dropped it. Incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 27. Iowa is up by four. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. to maybe the 30-yard line. When you get in these third-down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Brown fields it at the 30. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires that quickly, incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Out of bounds around the 47 yard line. It's the tailback, and it carries the ball for a nice game. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. Yellow three. Yellow three. Five wide. This one's going deep to the end zone. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. He's on the run. He's at the 20. And they push him out at about the 13. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. 7-6, Hawkeye. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, 
What a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk ready to roll. Great first half. Hopefully the second half is good. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taking off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. And a quick throw. From their own 35-yard line. First down. And he stopped behind the line. tight end but it falls to the ground third and 12 out, ball and 34 They get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. Green nine, green eight, oh, oh, oh. Gets to about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. After a decent run up the gut. Not over here. Not over here. Not over here. Green. That is just sound fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. the first down catch brought down at the 26 we're at play number nine of this current drive he makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line the 23 yard line second down and he's taken down at about the 23 yard line it's the 11th play of the drive to the receiver incomplete it's fourth down so the kicking team is on the field they'll try for three UCLA can take the lead here with this field goal kicks away and the field goal is good they line up to kick this one away he's to the 20 and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll bring him down around the 
the 30-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Cavalry's coming. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. UCLA is up two. Complete brought down, nothing doing. From their own 38 yard line, second down. the left. He's tackled at the 39. excited at home, folks, because I think this one is coming back. Here it is. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too, that's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. So with the penalty, they've got third and a mile. out to his wide out, and down he goes at the 40-yard line. Aker to punt. He's out to the 30, brought down at the 31-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They hand it off. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Two-yard line. Three-yard line. Second down. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. The Hawkeyes saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Lack of offense or great defense. Call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. 9-7, UCLA.
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Fourth and long here after the sack. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 44. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. UCLA holds just a two-point lead. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Very good tackle in space. From midfield, it's second down. And he is drilled at the 46-yard line. He's really got a lot of confidence in his receivers. Yeah, I think he does, but in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver can make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. And two, and run, 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 run. He fights forward to about the 36. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 36. Catches it, and he's punished. Dog four. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From the 27 yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. UCLA with a two-point advantage. Gets out to around the 15. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. First down, 10 Man, yards two. to go. Ball on the 15. Ah. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That's a great tackle at the 11. Tenth play of the drive. Made at the nine. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. It's up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Well, he's 
defensive coaches have got to be loving what they've seen from their guys today. Uh, you and I talked to both of these coordinators getting ready for this game, and they put together a game plan. They shared it with us, and we're seeing it out there on the field today. They still are going to determine the outcome of this game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Less than three minutes in the game. He laterals the ball. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. From their own 10-yard line, it's second down. And off, and he's met immediately. So they're going to go for it here. Got him. They try to throw for it, but ended up getting sacked. Defense stiffens there and gets it back to their offense. Teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Touchdown, UCLA! Penalty markers down. They took too much time. Just under two to go in the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. UCLA is lining up to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Now you're getting into pretty desperate times. You've got to be going for the end zone and just hope you can recover the onside kick. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. Hey, Brad, remember the last time this offense came out of the field? First, they went for it on fourth down. Sometimes it drives me crazy when we call all of these games and these guys out here go for it all the time on fourth down. Here's a message. If it's longer than fourth and five, just consider a field goal. Or two. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. you need to bring in those high passes. Going deep, lays it out there, and he's got it. Brought down at the 18-yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. They try to get a head start there. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Go down, go down. 
with a quick throw. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a five-play, 79-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. He's tackled at the 42. The onside doesn't bounce their way, but, you know, give these kids some credit. They fought hard all the way down to the wire. Wow, what a great football game. We've been very lucky to see such a hard-fought battle. Just over a minute left. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The misdirection play gets them four yards. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. They'll line up with five wide receivers. A lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Well, just amazing. A stop that they absolutely had to have to give it back to their offense and have a chance to win, and they got it. are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? Listen, who's got the most leadership. He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Spikes the ball. This is a quarterback's nightmare. It's third down and very long, and they really need a first down right here. He airs it out. And he's taken down at around the 38-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. Second and ten. Ball on the 38. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. Offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it. And that'd mean a victory. And the quarterback could have taken knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. UCLA's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. That's it for this presentation of 